Hello, welcome back again to Kenny's Claggy Garage. Today on our bench we got this lawnmower from, it's a cheap lawnmower from one of our chain, chains of supply stores. <laughs> it's a garden. <laughs> it's 139 cubics, cubic centimeters. And it's yeah, it's a cheap brand, and but overhead valves, and and only one handle for height adjustment. It seems it seems complete. Although there's some, what is. This is on this side, but not on the other side. So yeah. it's been some through some stuff <laughs> over his, his lifetime, I guess. Oh, this actually feels very good. It moves very nice and doesn't have that squeaky sound as many of the others I've dealt with did. So, but right off the bat, there, that's this. No bueno. So we gotta dig into that, I guess. On this, on this, if you if you pull the dead man switch, you activate something. No, nothing. So we gotta we gotta take a look at that. But first, let's check what we used to oil. Whoa, that was very stiff. Yeah, it's got something. It's right below the full mark. Doesn't smell too bad. Should I, should I feel it also? <laughs> this feels very, very good. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Feels good, doesn't smell of gasoline or anything. So, do we have any bonus? Why are these caps so tight? I don't get it. <laughs> anything? Yeah! We do have something. And it smells very good. If you like the smell of gasoline, <laughs> I do. So, no need to overdo that because we're taking it. We gotta take this off to get into the pull start air cleaner. If it got one. Well, that was just beautiful. This looks <laughs> fine. A blow with the, the compressor and we can use this. Looks fine in here. I don't hear the primer, but it could be working anyway. Well, both got an, a pre-filter and this air filter. Let me see if I can. Why is this so stubborn now? Why? Let 
They would go on. Well, should we dive into this? Because we need to turn over the engine to see if it got spark. So how do we get in here? By loosening thing. There's already one missing over here. There's one tiny one there and one tiny one there. And maybe just a few clips down here. Well, okay, like that's so. This, <laughs> I guess, was the color when it was new, and now it's the sun faded edition. So, we got the pull start here. Just bust that off real quick. Doesn't look too bad in here. So why isn't? Okay, so the arms are just not coming out. Okay, one is missing. That seems to be a theme here on the channel. <laughs> There we go. You can see that? That's coming out now. Well, let's try and put it back on and see if we've got any luck. Yeah, now it's grabbing, so now I've just got to tighten it. These are soft locking, so a little bit of oil doesn't hurt, I guess. Well, two of them is soft locking. So, 
How about now? Pulling back for some reason. Maybe I should take the spark plug first. Also give it a couple of yanks before I go crazy. Let go. Holy smokes. Why? This looks okay. A bit of carbon, but I guess it was running okay the last time. <laughs> well, it's a bit dodgy, <laughs> sketchy. Let's check for spark. Ah, this is really on there. Where is this? Spark. So, <laughs> does it want to run? <laughs> A torch spark plug. <laughs> not size. <laughs> I 
I don't hear the primer, as I said. But let's see. Let's have a look in here, why not? We need to blow this off anyways. I'm guessing that's a hunter style cover it in here, just like the last couple of machines. Ugh, what's that sound? The vent for the crankcase. So the primer is just it's just this pump and a and a, and a little hose. Well, let's take that off so we can get this out of our way. Looking a bit corroded on the outside. And we got some fluid here. fuel down here. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, we do. And gasoline all over, just like I'm used to. like I used to do, so that's just perfect. So we got fuel here, and also something that looks like we're getting fuel up here, so maybe. Is the primer just not working? So how does, how does this work? I've never taken off a part of one of these, so I don't really know. just held in place with uh, some clips I 
well it is working it is pumping i don't see that it would need to get fuel up here maybe it's just air that does something in the car well let's try and put it back on and see if it will run any better we got fuel so maybe it just needs to be waking up woken up Come on. There and come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So you try again without the apple. Yeah, let's have a go one more time. Not doing. So, <laughs> I guess we're taking off another carburetor. Well, <laughs> why not? Okay, this is simple. <laughs> the the pivot point for a, a choke is empty and where the shaft would go through is blocked off, so and there's not even a, a throttle handle, so no choke, only a throttle. Well, So, should I have a cup ready by now, for when I dump all the gasoline? Or should I be smart and prepared? <laughs> Me? Smart? Yeah, right. Now it's coming. Mm -hmm. So up here is above fuel level, uh, just about.
There, the greatest invention of all times, the vice grip. Now, you can let go now. Come on. Why? Well, this is really on here. But it is coming off one way or another or another. Okay, now it's coming. Yeah, thank you very much. Ooh. Is this good or is this bad? Rust there and there. <laughs> Oops. Well. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'd take the float ball off. Let me just. Just put it together again, see if it will hold up. So, which way should this be facing? Like this. Yeah. That's one. So I got the carp and the linkages back on. So now it's time for the fuel line. And where? <laughs> ah, there it was. <laughs> this little clip for the fuel hose. Let's see how much fuel can spill now. Nothing? That's good. So, are we leaking again, just like on the Stiga? Well, I'm going to go for broke and just put it back together and say that everything's just fine. Yep, and 
this yes 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 yes, yes. here we are and, uh, uh. There we go. Should we try the primer? Yeah, can you hear that now? Yeah, that's working. Now it's squirting fuel everywhere. Or is it a leak again? No. I hope not. Well, let's try and get it running. Actually, we are leaking a little bit, I guess. So, now, it just runs. Perfect, I know it, because, why not? If this stupid thing, come on you! Let me try putting the air cleaner bag on and see if it does as big of a difference as, as I sometimes think. Well, it, it must make some difference, right? There we go. Let's try again.
I'm going to say that's good enough. Why not? So I just tipped it up on its back to sharpen the blade and... Oh, it's warm. There we go. And there's a string in, in here. So maybe, maybe I should take that out and then sharpen the blade, of course. It's not too bad. It just needed sharpening. This actually looks good in here. Just a bit of old grass. Not too bad. Wow. Is that on the back? Come on, let go, there we go, wow, wow, was that on there? Looks okay, though. What was that? Hmm. Doesn't matter. It's gone now. Most of it. Is this the oil drain? Should we try it? Any time now. Nah. Smells and tastes a bit of gasoline, but yeah, not too bad. Yeah, well, while that is draining, I'm gonna sharpen the blade and and then put in some fresh oil. So we're done draining the oil. This looks fine. No, that is actually a bit of ah, 
it's not too bad. Maybe, did I see a year on this? 2014. So it's, it's nine years old. It's actually a new machine. <laughs> so maybe it's the first time the oil has been drained, so yeah. I guess there's not any strange things about that. So let's put the plug back in and the blade back on. actually have a really big gouge here but yeah if you want it better get a new blade it's also here it's a bit pitted but it's freshly sharpened and it's just fine There. So let's put it down. And dump in some fresh oil. <laughs> this takes a lot of oil. Uh, not a lot, but compared to what I thought. Now we're at the three quarter mark. Well, I'm gonna end up pouring half a liter in here or something. Yeah, I might as well. <laughs> Hope not, that would be a shame. No, we are right. Let me see then. Right at the mark. So that's perfect. Okay, so my theory is not true, at least not with this one. So this took this took half a liter almost well freshly sharpened plates and new oil let's go for a run and cut some grass <laughs> for some reason I always find the machines with the side discharge. I find it fascinating to see the grass get out of there. So here we are on a little test run. I forget to see if the height adjustment works. It works. And works very well actually. Let's try.
yeah, it runs fine. Once it warms up, it seems like, and it cuts really nice. That side discharge always leaves some stuff, but that's actually not too bad. So yeah, it's actually a nice running machine also. It's a, yeah, as I said, it's a, it's a cheap, cheap machine to begin with, but it actually runs very, very well. So yeah, another one in the books. As always, thank you for watching, and more later. See you.